Hello again, it's Matthew Miller from Nokia Experts with the N900 and some more application uh, videos here. So now I'm going to take a look at PIM, Personal Information Management, something that on the uh, previous internet tablets we had to kind of find some applications and use some third party fixes and things to kind of get working, which was never a very good solution. Now we actually have the we actually have the PIM applications built into the Nokia N900, and for me personally, they sync up uh, very well with Exchange. Now, I understand that uh, the Google Sync client also uses Exchange, but I haven't tried that. I'm actually using the straight Exchange server, which we'll take a look at here. So when uh, it comes to PIM, the things we're going to look at are the contacts, the calendar, and tasks. Now there is notes on here too, but I do not believe that they sync. They do not actually sync through Exchange, and I haven't tried syncing them with the desktop. So first on the top part, you can see there's options here. Let me just uh, turn that. There's options here for the uh, agenda, the week, the month, and then we can jump to today. Go to our tasks, which I'll look at in a minute. A new event, which I'll show you. Jump to, and that's jump to date. Uh, go to your notes and settings. So let's just kind of show you the different views. That was the agenda view that we saw there. Let's jump into a week view. So here we go, a week view, and it has blocks that we can see for uh, appointments without my throughout my week, which are nice to see, especially on a screen that's so readable. You can actually understand and see what's on the calendar. And then we also have a month view. And again, the month view has bars for a number of appointments, um, which is also very handy much more so than some of the other um, mobile devices that I've seen before. Let's go look at the settings here. And as you can see, you can uh, tell what calendars are visible. You can have multiple calendars on here, which will appear in multiple colors, um, such as a, a, you know, if you have a personal calendar or an exchange calendar and things like that. You can set the alarm that you're going to have for appointments when you want to delete items the first day of the week and hide tasks that have been done. Now what you would want to do with a calendar is create a new event, right? So then you have a title, where, whether it's all day or not. Now over here is the date and time. If I, as you can see, a picker picks up, pulls up here for month, day, and year. Okay. Same kind of thing appears for the time, kind of a scroll picker for time and date. Going up here we see if it repeats or not. And as you can see, there's every week, every month, every year. So there's not uh, customizable ones yet for um, every Monday and Wednesday or something like that, which hopefully will be in a future update. And which calendar it applies to, your alarm, and a description um, that appears within the, uh, the notes area, I believe. Now there is an option, I do not see any options on here for private appointments and things like that. So it's a fairly functional, not a bad calendar application especially for an internet tablet so if we do uh, jump to as you can see you can pick your date um, that you'd like to jump to and there's weeks and things like that okay now let's jump into uh, the tasks another thing that you can have sync up through exchange so here's the task and it's it's fairly basic uh, I know in uh, let's see in my birthday and anniversary gifts I do have a lot more information however I don't see any of the note information that I have in that task because I know I have for each specific person in my family I do have specific gifts uh, that I have on this specific task however that does not seem to be um, coming over it only is the task itself if you tap on new task you'll see that it is just a one line task with a date there's no priorities there's no notes attached to them so it's uh, very basic at this time and, and please remember that this is a a pre-production Nokia N900 so we may see something different in the future. So that's calendar and tasks. Now let's jump over to contacts here. Now I, uh, I'll try to keep uh, keep you from seeing all the details of, of contacts uh, but uh, you can see you can go by ABC availability it actually will um, filter by status of your contact. Recent new contact, get contacts, your information, some settings as you can see on the settings, it's just how to display the names, first name, last name, last name, first name, nickname, that kind of thing, which is handy to have. And um, delete contacts, export, and groups. You can create groups of your contacts. 
let's just tap on a contact. A Skype test call is a good one that uh, won't give away any information. So as you can see, a contact uh, will appear over on the the left. Uh, let me see if it does portrait mode with contact. I'm not sure. There's the uh, the photo view, the Skype numbers if they have them, the web page, nickname, notes, plenty of information. And as we go back here and we go to new contact, you can see you can enter this information, right? You can tap on this, uh, choose a picture, and it comes with, as you can see, a few images there. Or you can browse for a picture, and you can enter their cell number, their email, and then you say tap on add field. There's plenty more fields. There's home work, cell phone, email, Jabber, Nokia OV, SIPs, addresses, web pages, nicknames, notes, plenty of information in the fields. Uh, excellent actually for, uh, for that. So that's kind of a look at the PIM applications on the Nokia N900. In, uh, in most cases quite powerful and um, lacking in just a couple of areas that I'd like to see improved in the future.